Welcome back to Global Legacy of Fight Night. Tyson Cave in control thus far against Abraham Gomez. And you can pretty much always say that in a Tyson Cave fight, because even in fights that he isn't necessarily winning, Troy, and really, really been one that he's truly lost in his career, it's almost impossible not to get dragged into the kind of fight that Tyson Cave wants. A guy that moves this much, you wind up off of your game plan one way or another. Showboating, a little, maybe a little bit too much of showboating. And yes, Corey, it does throw you off your game plan when when you have, when you have a fighter moving around as much as you, as much as Tyson moves around, and he's actually connecting punches on you. Well, good luck finding a sparring partner. Good luck finding someone else on planet Earth who fights like Tyson King. <laughs> or good luck finding someone who can imitate this in the gym as you're preparing for this fight. Well, it's definitely, it's definitely, it's, it would be definitely hard to find a sparring partner that can move like Tyson Cave. He weighs to the inside here, giving Gomez an opportunity to get off. What he wants to be, Cave is a, a smart counterpuncher. There's even at times, Corey, that you'll see um, Tyson actually switch over to Orthodox. In the clinch just a minute ago, he was actually he switched over to Orthodox. Right hook to the body from Cave there a moment ago. And Cave feels that the names atop the Super Bantamweight division have been ducking him. He says that they offered a fight to Guillermo Rigondeau and that he declined it and that Scott Quigg, that they had an agreement in place with Quigg, and he backed out of the fight. So he feels that the guys at the top have been doing their best to avoid him thus far. Well, exactly what, exactly what we were just talking about a minute ago, Corey. It's hard to find some guys, guys in the gym that would be able to imitate Tyson Cave, all his movements. And almost impossible to look good against him when you do get in the ring. And that's right. There's guys that, when you fight them, they come just to run and to survive. Tyson's not one of those guys. He comes to fight and he comes to make you look bad. And he comes to win. Final 10 seconds as Tyson Cave continues to employ his brand of boxing here on Abraham Gomez. More Global Legacy Boxing when we come back after the break.